Last day of the Giro, guys. How we feeling? Excited. About the Giro or leaving? Leaving. <laughs> Breakfast tacos. <laughs> Breakfast tacos are calling. I love Italy, but I'm ready to go back to Texas. The ceiling height of this Airbnb would be illegal in Texas. <laughs> Today's the final day of the Giro, which is sad, but I'm very glad we are leaving San Martino after being here for three days, and here's why. shirts why because texas won today texas did win today <laughs> go texas i don't think you have enough stuff david yeah David doesn't like to ha ask for help. We are on our way to our final dinner in Italy. Andrea picked the spot. No pressure for him here for the final dinner. If he picks a bad spot, this is our last impression of Andrea's food choices. Oof. This is, uh, for all the marbles, folks. Yeah, Andrea said the risotto it's already. Mm, now we need to to run. Andrea did not disappoint. He ordered me a marone infused uh, risotto, so red wine risotto, and now I'm just doubling up because this is the last night in Italy. I got some ravioli as well. What did you get though? I'm confused. I'm gonna help myself. I was looking at the menu. I had to go with the hamburger. And I was rewarded with this incredible masterpiece which I am so excited about. You're gonna be in America tomorrow. You, <laughs> you couldn't wait one I more couldn't day, wait. You? I couldn't wait. Exactly. David, what are we drinking here? We are drinking, let's see, uh, uh, Altigani. It's amazing. However it's pronounced, it's amazing. Sant'Ambro. Uh, one Rosso, uh, born in Verona. Rosso from Verona. Look for it at your local supermarket or Walmart and uh, in the U.S. I'm sure they'll, they'll definitely have it. Torta di chocolate. It's pretty self-explanatory. The English translation was a chocolate volcano cake. I think it's living up to the uh, yep. living up to the description. Ooh, five stars. I, I call it like 4.5 out of 5. It wasn't the best we've had in Italy, but we've had some really, really, really good <laughs> restaurants in Italy. The lava cake was really good. I have a little bit of regret for not getting tiramisu because I've been trying to do that just pretty much every night. But sometimes you just need a sometimes you just need a break from the tiramisu. Venice was number one. I I outdid myself in my restaurant uh, recommendation. I have to say for Venice, I'm taking full credit for that entire trip from uh, gondola to meal. So Lazuka, Venice, probably number one. Very very close second. And I feel really bad for saying this. But the um, outside of Nove Ligure in uh, Piedmont, that biodynamic farm, mm. that, was, that was number two and not by much, and it really should be number one, but I just really like that medicine restaurant. Um, the number three was in Vinci, mm. that, uh, that little wine bar. 
that we went to yeah. where uh, Andrea said that I was going to be SOL being a vegetarian because t Tuscany is not a vegetarian friendly place. And then uh, one of the two ladies who worked at the restaurant was vegan and we were just like so taken care of. It was, that, was, that was number three. That was really good. <laughs> Agro Turismo. Cascina degli Olivi, Agro Turismo, yeah? I remember. Cascina degli Olivi. Cascina degli Olivi. It doesn't sound the same when you say it. I've only been in Italy for a month. <laughs> I picked up two words. <laughs> and, yeah, honestly, hire one more ride. This is an unpaid promotional um, little tip. <laughs> they take really good care of you and just order your food and wine for you and you're never disappointed. The local Verona soccer team won a thing and they're very excited about it. Giro is officially over. It is our last day in Italy, so it's a sad day in Italy. We are now at the One More Ride service course with Ian and Michael packing up their bikes before we head over to the airport in our last few hours here before heading back to the States. You packed your bike the fastest. Congratulations. It's destroyed. <laughs> if Michael wins, he gets to rename the show Michael and Friends. <laughs> This really isn't a competition because Ian's bike is ridiculous. How many parts do you have to um, unscrew to get your oh, handlebars off of your bike and into your bag? I've, uh, I've, I feel like I've streamlined it. It's a disaster. This bike does not make a travel with What should my new show be called on Flow Bikes? <laughs>